Bro, I just built a dog classifier. It's got 91% accuracy. I'm basically ready for Google. Cool. What's your resume say? Dog classifier. 91% TensorFlow. That's it. Congrats. You just built a project that impresses no one and gets rejected by every resume scanner. Your first AI project won't get you hired. And it's not because it's bad. It's because no one understands it or cares. Let me explain. My name is Dev and I teach AI at GPT Learning Hub. I have a bachelor's and master's in AI and the day I graduated, I landed multiple offers paying well over $240,000 a year. Over the past year, I've been teaching AI and I've worked with some amazing creators like 3Blue and Brown, Necode, and others. But it wasn't always like this. There was a time I felt completely behind. I remember staying up late refreshing job boards, scrolling through Reddit, and watching YouTube videos just like this one. I was building some projects, or at least I thought I was. I followed some tutorials, cleaned some data, trained a simple model. But every time I sent out my resume, complete silence. No replies, no interviews, just nothing. And it messed with my head. I started thinking, damn, maybe I should have gone into a different field. But here's the thing, I was doing what everyone told me to do learn Python, make some projects, make a GitHub account. So why wasn't it working? If you ever felt this way, I want you to know something important. It's not your fault. Stop blaming yourself. This job market? It's brutal. That's outside of your control. Even if you do everything right, follow the roadmap, take the courses, build the projects, there's still a chance you'll get ghosted. And the worst part is, you might even start blaming yourself, but I'm telling you right now, don't. Because the game has changed and no one's telling you the rules. Here's the truth. Yes, building AI ML projects is important. That's non-negotiable, but that's just the starting point. You also have to describe your projects in the right way. You have to present them in a way that catches the eye and more importantly earns the respect of the two people reviewing your resume. And that can be really tricky because you're trying to impress two different people. First, a non-technical recruiter who just wants to know, can this person do something with AI? And second, a technical hiring manager who wants to know, does this person actually know what they're doing with AI? And that technical hiring manager has a pretty strong BS detector. Both of these people will look at your resume at some point in the hiring process. You need to bridge that gap, but most people don't. I see it all the time. People cold apply to 100 roles with resumes that don't really tell a story. They bury their projects under vague titles like worked on a neural network, or they use buzzwords like deployed end-to-end -end pipeline with high accuracy without specifying any actual metrics or percentages. It's not just about what you've built, it's about how you communicate it. And no one teaches you this stuff in school. Let's talk about some of the details that make or break your resume. First, formatting. You need to be ATS compliant which means your resume needs to be scannable by software before it ever reaches human eyes. Second, buzzwords. I know it feels kind of BS, but using the right buzzwords matters. It's about matching the job description language. You're not gaming the system, you're just speaking its language. And third, clarity plus depth. You want to show that you understand why your project mattered. What problem did it solve? What decisions did you make? And what trade-offs were you forced to reckon with? Those are the things that make a hiring manager pause and say, wait, this person gets it. Most people ignore these things. They cold apply to 100 companies and get rejected by all of them. And they think it's because they weren't smart enough. But in reality, they're plenty smart. Their projects were great. It was their presentation that was missing. And here's the good news. You can stand out, even in this market. Students from my program are getting offers at companies like AMD, Amazon, and more. So believe me when I say it's possible. The key is to not just build projects, but properly position them. An impressive model accuracy isn't enough. You've got to take the time to understand how hiring works and craft a portfolio and resume that stands out. If you're feeling stuck right now, not sure how to go from, I know I need to build projects, to, I just got hired. I just want you to know you're not behind and you're not alone. You just need to connect the dots because your first AI project, it probably won't get you hired, 
but your second or third one just might, if you learn how to present it the right way. If you've been feeling behind in AI ML, I have a specific video just for you. I recommend watching it next, since it'll clear up a lot of questions you might have. I believe in you, let's get to work, and of course, don't be a tensor flow, Timmy.